Hi, welcome to Operations Management course with me, Yuanita Hanayati. In this section, we will examine variety of inventory models and costs associated with the models. Based on the demand characteristic, we can categorize the inventory models into two types. Inventory models for independent demand and inventory models for dependent demand. Inventory models assume that demand for an item is either independent or dependent on the demand for other items. For example, the demand for television is independent of the demand for laptop. However, the demand for laptop components is dependent on the requirements of laptops. This video will focus only on the independent demand. Today, we will discuss two inventory models for independent demand. The first model is basic economic order quantity, and the second one is production order quantity. Let's discuss the detail of each inventory models. The first model is basic economic order quantity or AOQ model. This model has several assumptions. Demand for an item is known, reasonably constant, and independent of discussion decision for other items. Lead time, there is time between placement and receipt of the order is known and consistent. Receipt of inventory in, is instantaneous and complete. In other words, the inventory from an order arrive in one batch at one time. Quantity discount are not possible. The only variable costs are the cost of setting up or placing an order. It is set up or ordering cost and the cost of holding or storing inventory over time. It is holding or carrying cost. Stock out can be completely avoided if orders are placed at the right time. With this assumption, the grab of inventory usage over time has a sold-tooth set, where Q is the order quantity and show the maximum inventory level, and Q per 2 is the average inventory on hand. Because demand is constant over time, inventory drops at a uniform rate over time represented by the slope lines. Each time the inventory is received, the inventory level again jumps to Q unit represented by the vertical lines. This process continues indefinitely over time. The second model is production order quantity model. It is applicable under two situations, when inventory continuously flows or builds up over a period of time after an order has been placed, or when units are produced and sold simultaneously. Under these circumstances, we take into account daily production or inventory flow rate and daily demand rate. By using EOQ or POQ model, we decide how much to order. But to decide when to order, we need to define the reorder point that represents the inventory level at which an order should be placed. When considering the lead time of or time between placement and receipt of an order. ROP assumes that demand during lead time and lead time itself are constant. When this is not the case, extra stock, often called safety stock, should be added. There are three costs that, con uh, that associated with the models. First one is holding cost. This is the cost that is associated with holding or carrying inventory over time. Therefore, holding costs also include obsolescence and costs related to storage, such as insurance, extra staffing, and inter interest payment. Second cost is ordering cost. This is the cost that is associated with the ordering process that includes cost of supplies, forms order processing, purchasing, clerical support, and so forth. The third cost is setup cost. This is the cost to prepare a machine or process for manufacturing an order. This includes time and labor to clean and change tools or holders. The objective of most inventory model is to minimize total cost, with the assumption that significant costs are set up costs or ordering costs and holding or carrying costs. 
All other costs such as the cost of the inventory itself are constant. Thus, if we minimize the sum of setup and holding costs, we will also be minimizing the total cost. Here is the summary of what we learned today. There are two types of inventory models, independent demand inventory models and dependent demand inventory model. Two inventory models in independent demand are AOQ that assume that demand is constant over time and inventory drops at a uniform rate over time and each time the inventory is received, the inventory will jump to Q unit. POQ. It is assumed that inventory continuously flows or builds up over a period of time after an order has been placed and units are produced and sold simultaneously. AOQ and POQ model decide how much to order and ROP decide when to order. There are three costs related to inventory models. The first one is setup cost, second one is holding cost, and the third one is ordering cost. The objective of most inventory model is to minimize total cost. And all other costs such as the cost of inventory itself are constant. If we minimize the sum of setup and holding cost, we will also minimizing total cost. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Yonita Handayati. See you in the next operations management topic.